This is going to be as basic as it gets, but in order to continue with the complex components, we need to cover the atomic ones first. So as the title says, colors. The idea is to create a template with some colors that we're going to use in the future of our component creation. I just googled template generator and opened the first site in order to find some fitting colors. These seem nice. Let's leave them here until we create our module. We're going to go inside our component library and create a new folder called colors. Inside of that folder, like in our buttons folder, we are going to create a QML there without extension and we need a file where we're going to store all our colors. I'm going to name it custom colors dash zero one or version and in our qml there we need to add the name of our module so colors and we need to add our qml file in our case custom colors and the big difference between the components we made until now and this component is that this one is going to be a singleton what this is going to allow us is to use our colors without instantiating the object for now it's done Let's just make it a valid file. So we're going to go back to our color template. And here we have four different colors. What I'm going to do is just copy the hexacode and store it in our file. I'm going to make our property read only so nobody can change it by accident or on purpose. So the first color is going to be called primary. The second one secondary, etc, etc. And this is it. Now we just have to use our colors. Let's try it out. So I'm here with the old code we made in the last lesson. What we could do now is change the color of our radio buttons. Currently it's looking like this. What we could do is go inside of our radio button and here we can import our module colors and instead of the blue color we could use our custom color primary. Okay so we encountered an issue. It says no pragma singleton found in type custom colors. The thing I missed is pragma singleton. Now our radio buttons use our primary color and I actually like this color. Let's say you want to create another palette. What you could do is just copy our custom colors, make a version 02, edit our QML there so we introduce another color pattern and it's gonna be custom colors 02 and let's change the colors here from a different palette. Now, if you would like to change to the different palette in your component, you could just change the version to 1.1. And yeah, this is how you change to a new version. Now, I'm not going to use custom colors 02 just to change a palette. We're going to upgrade our colors module and we're going to introduce themes. Now, the first thing if you want to use themes is get rid of cute objects. We're going to use an item and inside of our item, we're going to create a cute object that's going to represent all our themes. So the ID is going to be themes. And the first property we're going to introduce is our first theme. So it's going to be light. And it's going to be a list of all our colors. So the first color is going to be this one. Okay, now let's create a dark theme. I'm going to go back to our palette site and find some dark theme. This seems nice. So I'm going to use these colors for our dark theme. Now that we introduced our themes, we have to introduce a property that's going to tell us which theme is currently active. And we're going to call it current theme. Our default theme is going to be the light theme. And the last thing that we need to do is expose our themes. So when we want to change the theme, we can see which themes are available. We need to set our values accordingly to the current theme. So our primary color will be current theme and the first color in that list. And we're just going to follow the pattern until the end. This way the code is pretty clean but a big downside is that you have to keep in mind that every theme needs to have the same amount of colors so you don't get the index out of range error. Now let's try out our themes and let's leave two of our buttons in our layout. I'm going to change the text so it makes sense. Now we have to change the theme on the clicked signal but before that we have to import our colors 1.1 because our 1.0 doesn't even have themes and for our dark theme we're gonna change it to dark if you go into custom radio text button and in custom radio button you will see that we have still the old module in order for this to work we have to change the version to the new module that has themes let's try it out now if we click on the dark theme it switches to the dark theme palette if we quick click on the light theme it switches to the light theme palette and just for showing, we're going to change the background also to a theme color. Now it's green, and now it's red. Very nice. And this is how to use colors. It's very simple and useful in the real world usage, as you will see with our future examples. Until then, bye.